New Weapons reports that the U.S. Army has selected at least two development teams to create a new version of the Precision Strike Missile, PRSM for short. It is capable of a range of more than 1,000 kilometers, which will be twice as long as the current version of the system. Lockheed Martin Corporation and the consortium of Raytheon Technologies and Northrop Grumman announced that they have been awarded contracts by the U.S. Army to develop a new missile form factor and propulsion system for the PRSM Increment 4 variant. This version of the PRSM also has a new name, the Long Range Maneuverable Fires Missile, LRMF for short. Presumably, the current PRSM missile manufacturer Lockheed Martin Corporation received a $33.3 million development contract, while the team led by Raytheon received nearly $100 million for prototype long-range precision maneuverable fires air-assisted missiles. The new weapons channel reminds us that Lockheed Martin is currently producing PRSM Inc. 1 missiles with a range of at least 500 kilometers to replace its own MGM-140 ATACMS missile system. The PRSM Inc. 1 missile, along with later PRSM modifications, can be launched from the launchers of the M270A2 MLRS and M142 HIMARS missile systems. As part of the development of the advanced PRSM Inc. 2 variant, the U.S. Army is developing a multi-channel land-based anti-ship missile, LBASM, homing head for integration on the PRSM missile. A follow-on variant of PRSM Inc. 3 is being considered for the addition of high lethality warheads. As for the PRSM Inc. 4 variant, which may be ready sooner than Inc. 3, the U.S. Army is considering a new missile form factor, possibly with a new propulsion system to engage targets at a range of at least 1,000 kilometers. The new weapons channel reminds us that the U.S. Navy has also awarded Lockheed Martin and Raytheon $116 million in competitive contracts to develop prototypes of the hypersonic air-launched offensive anti-surface, abbreviated HALO, hypersonic anti-ship missile. The missile should be ready to go into service later this decade. Previously, the HALO program was called Anti-Surface Warfare Increment 2. Under its first phase OASUW Increment 1, the Lockheed Martin AGM-158C long-range anti-ship missile, a subsonic aircraft anti-ship missile, was adopted by the U.S. Air Force and Navy. Everything about the U.S. Air Force B-21 Raider stealth bomber is here, see you soon.